Greetings, comic ladies and gentlemen. It is that time of the month again where we cozy up. So grab a comfy blanket, snuggle in close, and it's time to previews and chill. Let's go over the May 21 edition of previews. See what's coming out. See what we want to pre-order. Uh, as always, I suggest going through previews every month and pre-ordering things that are of interest to you for a couple of reasons. One, for yourself, to make sure that you get any of the tasty bits that are in here that you'll want. And also, of course, it helps your local comic shop order an appropriate amount of things to cover their demands. So please make sure that you go through previews every month and find what you're looking for and let your local comic shop know what you want them to order for you. So let's get through all of the beginning stuff. We have the solicitation for the previews we're looking through right now. Free comic book day is coming up, isn't it? Uh, real excited for Enter the House of Slaughter. Tie in to Something is Killing the Children. Is this, is this all the all the offerings? Be interested to see what's coming out. Ooh, we have a stray dogs. That'll be cool. Let's see if we turn the light on here. That's a little bit better. Lighting's always important. It sets the mood for a previews and chill session. All right, let's get to the meat image. Mom, Mother of Madness, one of three. Writers, Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. Interesting. Uh, I've mentioned before my thoughts on non-comic book writers coming in and writing. Uh, I'm not against it. It's just always something I'm wary of. Obviously, uh, Berserker with Keanu Reeves has come out recently, and that seems to be killing it. Uh, let's see. The mayhem begins with Maya under the weather, scientist by day, over the top superior by night, and badass single mom 24-7, Deadpool action and flea bag comedy. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on that. Don't know if that's really my bag. Marika Andolfo, Sweet Paprika. I don't know who, uh, oh, Mirka and Alfo. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Demons? Executive demons, maybe? Paprika is a successful businesswoman, a New York, a New Yorker of Italian origin. Job and career consume her, forcing her to neglect her personal needs. Heart is broken from previous relationship. Uh, tell me about it. And rigid upbringing, very introverted. She wants a romantic relationship, but she doesn't know what she's doing. Not like Dill, a naive, suave delivery boy with an angelic attitude. Handsome, blah, blah, blah. Is it, no, 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 no. but he's the guy who could help with her feelings and with dot, 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 sex. Oh my goodness, scandalous. Uh, this doesn't really explain the horns and the halos. She's Italian. Eh. I think some explanation of what's going on with that would have helped solicit it. Um, but as it is, I'm not terribly interested. Skybound X. So Skybound is an image imprint. So is this... Uh, from uh, Birthright. Is this like a crossover? Uh, oh, I'm, 
this is like a preview book. It has to do with Walking Dead. Oh, you know, it's got a Walking Dead story and then like backup stories of these other. Eh. Eh. Man Eaters colon the curse. Reunites the original Man Eaters creative team. Oh, this is a continuation of something I haven't read. Ordinary Gods. For fans of the Old Guard and God Country, I've not read either of those, comes the first extra length, first issue of a century spanning action epic from writer Kyle Higgins, who wrote Radiant Black, which I have dropped, so that's not doing great. Uh, five gods from a realm beyond our own leaders in the War Immortals, at least they were before they were trapped, sent to a planet made into prison, forced into an endless cycle of human death and reincarnation. Hmm. Hmm. I like... You all know I like period pieces. And this is going to span through multiple periods. I'll I'll give I'll give that an issue. Siphon Top Cow, another image imprint. Fast living EMT is entrusted with the power to sense and siphon pain. Silas is presented with a new purpose to ease the misery of those around him, but the more he uses this gift, the more it curses him with carrying the burdens of others' pain, and it soon attracts the attention of mysterious forces who covet the power for themselves, forcing Silas to decide whether he will continue his mission or avert his own ways. Uh, uh. This is, this is, this is, uh, and it's a mini, so, uh, this, this is something I probably would have bought before, but with new rules, new rules, I'm going to skip it. Uh, Chew... I don't read Chu, crossover. Should already be getting that. Firepower, no. A man among ye. Is this, I, I think maybe I got the first issue of this. I don't remember. It's probably a sign. Marth Vallis. Uh, uh, don't care about Walking Dead. Trade paperback, trade paperback. Rain Like Hammers, I read the first issue of this, and I guess I just I just really didn't get it. Uh, Oblivion Song, I don't read that. Uh, Scud, The Disposable Assassin, The Whole Shebang, New Printing. This is fantastic. If you have not read Scud, you really, really should. And this whole shebang, uh, I think it's gone through a few printings where it's just it's all of it's all of Scud. It's the entire series of Scud. So collect Scuds one through twenty four. Uh, I suggest reading it. It's really good. So it's about this world where these like vending machines where you can hire an assassin, and then once they complete their their mark, they self destruct. Uh, but this one is able to deactivate his self destruction mechanism, and just becomes sort of like a freelance assassin. It's really good. Let's see, Ascender, been reading that. Bitter Root, don't get that. Don't, no, no, no. Department of Truth, love it. Uh, <laughs> this is, so this is the top of a skull with like a cowboy hat on it. Uh, when I first glanced at it, for some reason, I immediately thought it was Macho Man Randy Savage, which would I, I think would be a great addition <laughs> to the Department of Truth. Uh, Die, I've read the first trade of that. It's really good. I'll be getting the other trades you know, eventually. Geiger, the first issue so far has been out, and it was great. So I picked that up. Added that to my, my subscriptions already. Helm, Grayskull, didn't read that. Hey, kids, comics. Oh, nope. Homesick Pilots, still fantastic. Ink Blots, read the first issue of that. It was cute enough. Uh, but didn't continue with it. Lighthouse, don't do. Jupiter's Legacy, don't do. Carmen, don't do. No, no. 
Manifest Destiny is fantastic. Moonshine is also good, but I read these in trades. Noctera, the first two issues have come out. This is really good. I suggest it. Still don't read Oblivion Song uh, or Old Guard. Uh, Post Americana, oh, seven of seven. I thought it was supposed to be six issues. Maybe it wasn't. It got extended. I don't know. But this is fun. This is a good, it's a good read. Uh, I dropped Radiant Black. I don't read Savage Dragon. Uh, Scumbag. Uh, I know I read the first issue of that and I thought it was good, but I didn't pick it up. Uh, and then recently I was I was a okayed uh, issues, uh, well multiples, but I have issues one through three. I haven't read two and three yet, but I do want to go back and get that. I might end up getting this in in trades. Shadecraft first two issues of that as this has come out and it is really good. Um, I highly suggest getting on Shadecraft. Silver Coin is horror anthology. Uh, first issue was really good, so I picked that series up. Spawn, don't care. Stillwater, uh, read that in trades. I read the first trade. It was really good. Don't read any of those. Time Before Time. I think I've already pre-ordered the first issue of that. It hasn't come out yet. And don't do any of those. All right, then we're in Dark Horse. Masters of the Universe Revelation. As much as I grew up when these sorts of things came out, your Masters of the Universe, Transformers, G.I. Joe, and stuff like that, I don't read any of those comics. Um, I just, I don't know. Just not, just doesn't really interest me for some reason. I love the property, but it's just, I don't know. It's too much. Um, don't read that. Sin City, uh, just a reprint of, or a, um, yeah, fourth edition of Sin City Volume 1. That's good stuff, though. Umbrella Academy. I just finished watching Season 2 of Umbrella Academy on Netflix. I am behind, I know. It's been out for a while. Just haven't watched much TV lately. Uh, it was good. I was really good. excited for the third season. Don't really do the Hellboy stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I get much of Dark Horse. Um, I am reading Dead Dog's Bite, which is Dark Horse, but that's a, only a four-issue thing. I don't think I'm reading anything else. For your case, I'm getting that in issues. It's really good. Uh, nope. Parasomnia, I pre-ordered the first issue of that. Uh, Dead Dog's Bite, this is for the hardcover, so I'll have all those in issues. Uh, first two issues have come out. It's been good. The dialogue is just really, I don't know, it's really, I don't want to say genuine. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of like Kevin Smith movies, <laughs> where, like, it's not that kind of, of, of like crudeness or whatever but in that it's it, it flows kind of naturally like at first you're like oh they're talking like how real people talk but then you go back and think about it and you're like wait real people don't actually talk like that like I don't know you watch Kevin Smith movies don't be wrong I love Kevin Smith movies but they sort of speak to me as far as like interests and stuff concerned are concerned and remind me of uh conversations i've had while working in a comic shop but at the same time it's like it's it's close but it's still a little too obviously scripted i guess i don't know uh, is all trades 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 Got some video game trades or uh, comics. Just for morals, I don't know if that's anything. Yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, these are definitely comics. Uh, yeah. Pass. Pass. All right. Relists. Don't care. IDW. What you got? Bermuda. It's giving off a very Peter Pan vibe. Uh. 
presenting a fantastic new adventure by New York Times bestselling and multiple Eisner award-winning writer John Lehman. Uh, did Chew and worked on Detective. Eye-popping, mind-blowing art by Nick Bradshaw. There's a region in the Atlantic Ocean where planes disappear, ships are lost, and traveling souls go missing, never to be heard from again. And there's an island within this place, mysterious and uncharted, untouched by time and civilization, where all who are lost end up, human or other. Bermuda lives here. She's 16, scrappy, and living on this insane and wondrous jungle island. Find it. Eh. 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 Uh, uh, Canto three. No, I never read any Canto. I heard it's pretty good, and I know I know that the uh, Canto number one is like crazy blew up at one point, but um, I might pick up trades of that at, at some point. Uh, Marvel action, no. Transformers cross My Little Pony. Interesting. Sonic. No, thank you. Uh, oh, they did one of these for Casey Jones. I need to pre-order that because I'll get all of those. They're all just reprints, but I don't know. I like I like I like all the covers match, which is dumb because I never see them aside from when I buy them and then put them in my boxes. But whatever. Uh, what is this? Teenage Mutant Turtles Reborn Volume Three, time after time. So, oh, it collects. And why is it volume three? Oh, they're label. They're numbering these weird. They're not numbering by like the absolute volume. They're numbering them in chunks of. That's strange. I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, subscribe to both of those. They are great. Sea of Sorrows. I don't think I read that. Transformers. No, no, no. Usagi, I get in trades. Don't care. And board games, don't care. Uh, oh, Moon Knight's coming back. Hey. Well, I definitely need that. But we'll get to that when we get to the Marvel stuff, I suppose. Oh, sure, sure. oh yeah, sure enough. Moon Knight, about time. I do love Moon Knight. All right. I don't think I've ever gotten anything or been interested in anything from Dynamite, so I am just going to speed through this. Yep, 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 yep. People like their Vampirella. Boom. All right, let's see. Boom's been doing some stuff. Let's see what they got for us. Mammo... Mm. Mm. Mouse guard, no. Dark blood. This is what is on the cover of previews. What if you were given the power to change the course of history? Alabama 55. Avery Aldridge is an ordinary young black man, a decorated World War II veteran. Avery provides for his wife and daughter. But wounds of the past, a way of coming back. I don't know. After running, awakened strange new abilities, Avery's about to become more powerful than he ever could have dreamed in a country and society that never wanted him to have any power. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Like, I, I, I want more out of this solicitation. Like, give me a hint of what he's changing. Right? I get... Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass. Again, an old, old Titan probably would have jumped at that. But I'm going to pass. When it comes out, maybe I'll see it on the shelf and throw it through it, and I'll change my mind. I don't know. Uh, it's just too open-ended. You can change You can change things that happen. Like, but, yeah, but you can, change, you can change stuff that'll be interesting. You can change stuff that won't. I, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted more. Dune, Blood of the Sardukar. Those are continuing on the Dune stuff because they did House Atreides and now Blood of the Sardukar. Uh, I think I got the first two issues of Dune, and Dune, Dune is my is my favorite novel series. 
straight up, which is kind of weird because I, I like sci-fi, but I'm usually more of a fantasy fan than sci-fi. Um, but I, I didn't continue through with uh, the Dune House Atreides. Maybe we should go back and get the trade of it. Uh, Magic, don't care. Power Rangers, don't care. Firefly, don't care. Firefly, also don't care. Buffy, don't care. Good luck. Eve, I guess I didn't get those. Uh, Berserker Volume 1, get those in issues. Basilisk, I think I pre-ordered the first issue of that, so we'll see how that goes. The Mini Deaths of Layla Star. I read the first issue of that, and it was interesting. Um, I haven't decided whether or not I want to continue with the rest of the series. Uh, something is Killing the Children coming back. That's exciting. Proctor Valley Road is very good. Um, oh, I didn't know this was a mini. That's sad. That's sad. I thought it was an ongoing. That's too bad. Let's see. I feel like it's been a long time since we had an issue if we only find them when they're dead. It must have taken a break. Uh, Wind, I haven't read. Last Witch, soft cover, so good. Last Witch is so, 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 so good. Do yourself a favor and pick that up. Uh, and I don't do either of those. All right. This is going really well. I only have one thing. Only one thing. Uh, let's see. Serial. I, um, I, I got that and I added it to my subscriptions but they were shorted on the last issue and I don't think they were sent for placements. So I'm just kind of SOL about that. Uh, comics, graphic novels, print, anything. Yeah. Aftershock, ooh, Aftershock. Beyond the Breach, life sucks for Vanessa. Psh, welcome to the club. Her mother just died and her boyfriend is cheating on her Ugh, with her own sister. Ugh. To clear her mind, Vanessa is taking the California road trip that she's dreamed of. Her postcard, perfect drive through old growth forest, quickly turns when the breach hits. A bizarre anomaly in the sky plunges California into a nightmare where populated with strange, extra-dimensional creatures. Now Vanessa, along with Dougie, an orphan child, and Kai, a strange fuzzball. Look at, look at Kai. Look at the strange fuzzball. Uh, yeah, right. All right. Whatever. You got me. Clans of Balari. No person or clan may exit the system. No person or rule of it. Eh. Bunny Mask. I think I ordered the first issue of that. Out of Body. I may have ordered the first issue of that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Nope. 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 Oh, Phantom on the Scan. I read the first issue of this and it was good. So I added that. Miskatonic. Uh, I read the first issue of Miskatonic. It was all right. Uh, I liked the premise more than the execution, but then again, I only read the first issue. But again, I gotta be a more discerning subscriber. All right. More graphic novels in print. Anything cool? No. American mythology. I don't think I've ever done any of that stuff. Antarctic. No. That's cool. These are the, these are the, uh, those plastic, hard plastic. I don't like them. I I understand them. I understand that it they they look cool, uh, and it makes them much cheaper than being of like actual like resin or whatever. Um. I just. When you hold them, when you pick them up, they feel cheap because they're plastic. But they do look good. Uh, but I don't know. I'm too. I'm too. I'm too picky. Uh, Aspen. So you get what your fathom and your witch blades and your whatever and your all your Michael Turner hits. Crossed. Never read Crossed. I don't know if I get anything from Avatar actually. No, none of that. AWA Studios. Fight Girls. Written by Frank Cho. Ten hard as nails women face off in an ancient contest of champions where the winner truly takes all the title of Queen of the Galaxy. Oh boy, I'm a bit over the top. 
To win the challenge, each contestant must survive the hazards of the planet's harsh landscape. The ferocious predators... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I pre-ordered the first issue of this. Marjorie Finnegan, Temporal Criminal. Or I didn't. Either way, I remember thinking about it, and I either ordered it or I didn't. I want to think that I did. I don't know. I can go, I can go back and watch the previous episode of this. Uh, let's see. You promised me darkness. I I read the first issue of this, and I didn't... I don't know. I didn't really get it. So I just didn't, didn't really care for it. I heard other people liked it. It just it wasn't... Uh, didn't catch me. Uh, yeah, nothing really there for me. Boundless death stuff. Mm -hmm. Dracula of Transylvania. All these just. What is, what is this? Uh, there was a time that I, I I was just really reading classics, just classic novels. Um, and when I got to Dracula, I was really excited for it because it's vampires, Dracula. It's, it's, the, it's the vampire story. It's really boring. <laughs> it's really, really boring. If you want a good uh, classic horror, Frankenstein is much, much better. Lady Death again? Um, nah. Star Wars Book of Monsters Ooze and Slime. Okay. Mm. Dynamic Forces. Don't really get into the Dynamic Forces stuff. Fantagraphic, nothing really there. Um, printed comic, comic book price guides, it's just, there's no point anymore. There's no point anymore. Especially in today's market, the on online price guides can't keep up, let alone print, yearly printed price guides. It's just... It's, it's not not worth it. Um, nothing there. Space bastards. Can't remember if I've read the first issue of that. I think I skipped it. River of Ink. So this is one of those things where a preview would really help. It's a soft cover, it's a graphic novel. But it, it looks like, from the cover, it looks like a big selling point of this is the art. The stylized art, which looks interesting. But I'd like, I'd like to see more before I pre-order it. Um, oh, this is, actually, this isn't even... For me, no, this isn't even a graphic novel. It's a thought-provoking book about the origins of the art of illustration. Yeah, that's not written for me. Uh, Fartnight? Are you serious? Fartnight in Minecraft. Oh, jeez. Wow. That... that. Uh, given, given this medium a great name Mad Cave let's see Battle Cats Volume 3 Beckstar Nottingham is really good if you can get your hands on it super low print run uh, Magnetic these are pretty Collected Topi Volume 6 let's say I missed out on the Volumes one through five. Uh, 
just scanning for things that might catch my interest. Again, I'm not going to waste all your time reading each every single one. Uh, it's, it's these sections right here where, you know, I know they say don't judge a book by its cover, but I'm kind of going to judge a book by its cover. I'm not judging them to be bad. I'm judging them to be not of interest to me. Orcs in space. Mm. Nah. 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 Are these more some hard covers of stuff that I don't care about. Murder Hobo. Chaotic Neutral number two. It must be like, I don't know what publisher that is. I didn't even say who the publisher is. Oh, it's Scout. Oh, it's Scout. Oh, I guess Scout doesn't, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Scout comes up with some interesting stuff. Um, we're still in mm -hmm. Scout. No Ghost in Hiroshima. All right. Dr. James Hare Richardson. Hen Richardson, that's a name, is racked with guilt because of a mistake he made many years ago and believes he has unwillingly condemned an innocent soul to eternal suffering and pain. In an attempt to set things right, he has worked for years to invent a way to free this soul from hell. But, Dr. That Guy, efforts have stirred demonic attention by those who see this as a way to seize power in hell. Chased by these demons, Dr. Hen Richardson is badly injured and is forced to hand over his discoveries to his prized pupil, a medical intern named Dr. Gabriel Oldman, a more normal name, that's nice, imploring him to deliver a briefcase to an old friend before it's too late. Hmm. All right. Let's give number one a shot. Uh, we don't kill spiders. Speak for yourself. Black Caravan imprints. In the early Viking age, a faithless Norseman detective is summoned to a Scandinavian hamlet where a series of murders have occurred. Discovering the dark and bloody history of the village, he investigates a local outcast, a necromantic witch who brings his atheistic values into question, determined to prevent further homicides. The two band together to discover the identity of a serial killer. Weird. Yeah, all right. All right. You got me. You got me. Mm. No. Let's see. Titan. You know, I think Titan mostly does established properties, which for the most part I don't get comics of. Horizon Zero Dawn. I hear that was a great game. Never played it. Don't play much games these days. It used to be a big part of my life. I used to I used to teach video game stuff at the uh, local university. Taught a video game history course. Taught um, how to program games. Taught game AI. They were a big part of my life for a while. And now I just just don't seem to have the time. Let's see. Uh, yeah, nothing really there. Ninjack. All right. Never read Valiant. I feel like it's too late <laughs> to start now. Uh, if I ever got a chance to get, like, all of Valiant, starting from, like, the beginning, because none of it's very expensive, I'd probably do it and read through it 
I'm interested, but it's, it's, it's it'd be so hard. It'd be so hard. Uh, Vault. All right, the last book you'll ever read. Uh, was this preview? Are these previews or is this actual vault? It's actual vault. Colin Bunn. Dang it, Colin Bunn. Civilization is a lie hidden deep in our genes is the truth and it's slowly clawing our way to the surface. Olivia Cade knows the truth and she has become the prophet of the coming collapse. Her book, Seder, is an international bestseller and is being blamed for acts of senseless violence. Ooh. I like this. <laughs> I like the sound of this. Got him. Uh, barbaric. Uh, Hollow Heart. Uh, I read the first two, three issues of that. I ended up dropping it just because, I don't know, I needed to drop something. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Ending arcs of stuff I don't read. Witch Blood, that's another one I read the first one of. And it was good. It just it wasn't enough for me to stay on it. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope. nope. Xenoscope. Nope. I don't think I own a single Xenoscope book. Manga. Um, yeah, I can I can skip through this stuff. It's just manga's too deep. I used to read some manga stuff. I used to be really big into anime. Read some manga stuff, but. I feel like it, like to, to read American comics and comics and manga would just be way too much, way too much, um, and I like American comics better. So there you go. All right, so now we're getting into stuff. Let's see if there's any stuff. Oh, the big Galactus, the Silver. That's that's actually a really cool pop. Don't need it though. Nor do I have room for it. All right, from the other side. Let's see. What's the stuff? That's a cool alien figure. Immortal Hulk. Uh, let's see. Godzilla vs. Kong. You know, that, that movie came out recently. I thought it was a lot of fun. I liked it. I liked it. Oh, but an animated, yeah, Marvel animated Mysterio. That's kind of cool. This is really cool. Colossus is my second favorite X person after Shadow Cat. Lost that watch is pretty cool. Don't need none of that. It's the same preview from before. Uh, ooh, I like that. I really like that. In stock now. This would go really well next to my Scotty Young Hulk. I really like that. I don't get that. I shouldn't, but you know. You know how it goes. Uh, I used to do these uh, Star Trek ships. It's like a it's a magazine that talks about the ship, and then it's like a ship that's probably about you know that big or whatever. It was, and you could subscribe to them, and they just you know they keep coming out. Uh, I didn't realize how deep they'd go, which <clears throat> on one hand is good, on the other hand means that there's a lot of them. I had to stop subscribing to it because it was just too much. It co they cost a lot. It's only like 30 bucks each, and they come out, I don't know, like two a month or something. So it's like 60 bucks a month. Uh, I have an entire bookshelf full of them. 
and uh, it just got to be too much money and not enough space. Now I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Let's see. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. I very rarely get any statues or toys. Very, very rarely. Uh, I used to be a pretty big toy person, but again, money and space is an issue. I mean, with comics, space is an issue, and those are, you know, just small little things, right? Imagine, like, this, you have to display them, and then, oh, man, the dust, ugh. Especially with my dog, there's so much dander around. I just, I can't, I can't keep up. say this is probably probably good pins blah blah games puzzles I do love me some puzzles but don't need any of those all right that's that Now to Marvel, at the very least, no, I need that. I can't, I, I have, I have a full run of Moon Knight, all volumes. I gotta keep it up. Plus, I love Moon Knight. Uh, Moon Knight is my second favorite Marvel character after Spider-Man. The Hulk is creeping up. I might have to reevaluate that, but that's for another time. Uh, let's see. Amazing Fantasy 1 of 5. Uh, let's see. Characters from across time and space all wake up on a strange time of intrigue, darkness, and Amazing Fantasy. Yeah. Limited. I'm cutting back on limiteds. Sinister War. Well, this is a Spider-Man. This is a Spider-Man limited. That I have to get. It's the law. It's the law. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing Spider-Man. Please get better. Extreme Carnage. Uh, mm, yeah. I don't, I don't think we need that. Uh, X-Men, no. So, Moon Knight. Yes. I wonder what they're going to do. Interior art. So we have Mr. Knight. Then we have Moon Knight proper. So I'm curious where they're going to go. Uh, I I would like I would like to get back just to original <laughs> Moon Knight. Um, not super crazy schizophrenic Moon Knight. I like in volume one where he has these different personas, not personalities, but personas. And sometimes he gets a little mixed up with them, which is fine. But the straight, like, I'm this person now. No, I'm this person. Don't talk to me. Like, don't call me that. I'm not that. Like, come on. It's It got to be a little bit too much. Like, Moon Knight, just on his own, like, is badass enough. You don't need to throw that stuff in. Uh, let's see. Amazing Spider-Man Annual number two. That I'll have already. Thor Annual. Symbiote Spider-Man. Those, that's just always on my... Gamma Flight. Let's see. Who is after Gamma Flight? Uh, no, probably not. Alien is fantastic. Reading through that. Uh, Aliens Aftermath. Yeah, I'll probably get that. Uh, Ultraman. No. Carnage Black. Nah. I, I, I have two copies of Carnage Black, White, and Blood, number one. I didn't buy either of them. They were both like, gifted to me. Um, I, I just don't think Carnage is inter inter interesting enough to carry his own series, let alone his own event, this Carnage whatever. 
Like Maximum Carnage, that's a Spider-Man event, right? It, it was just Carnage is the bad guy. This seems a little too centered. The the what's the Extreme Carnage? I don't know. There's too many symbiotes. Uh, Shang Chi. I haven't decided if I'm gonna pick that up. That ongoing. The limited that came out was really good. I'm undecided on Shang Chi. The, the ongoing. Just just because of trying to keep cut back. Let's see. Yeah, Spider Woman continues to be great. Uh, the first issue of Spider-Man Spider Shadow was fantastic. Picked that up. Uh, Non-stop Spider-Man, I did not care for the first issue. The second issue I actually really like, so I'm on board with that. I dropped Iron Man. Just it wasn't it wasn't keeping me. It wasn't keeping me. And uh, I gotta I gotta you got you gotta really hold me these days to stay on my my list just because it's so big. Mortal Hulk almost coming to an end. That is a shame. Savage Avengers. I dropped that a while ago. Daredevil has been fantastic. I like that we're still we still have Electra Daredevil. I hope that continues on for a long time, not forever. You know, it, it's 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 like when Doc Ock uh, took over Sp uh, Spider Man's body, right? Spoiler alert. Uh, at some point, Doc Ock takes over Spider Man's body. That last for Superior Spider Man lasted for a couple of years and it was great obviously things went back to normal um but it was a it was a great run it was something different um i hope it's something similar with uh electro daredevil uh, this is all star wars stuff i don't do any of that let's see oh and then statues and what have yous excalibur and collected editions which i probably don't really need to go through. I never get any of that stuff in collected editions, except for epic collections. Should see if there's any epic collections coming out that I need. Looks like no. All right, and that is it. Uh, that was pretty good. Um, you know, I, I think from the, the first time I did a previews and chill, like, I don't know, probably like 10, 15 things i think i only have maybe like five or whatever five or so around there so doing pretty good uh so that's it let me know anything in there that you think that i probably should have circled but didn't uh what is in here that you're really looking forward to that either i'm getting or that i'm not getting i'm curious to know um what y'all think um but that is it like comment subscribe and of course don't forget to make yours titan this video was brought to you by titan comic pressing Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.